Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over our virtual text for Algebra 1 on how to graph linear equations. We're going to look at the special cases um, on graphing vertical and horizontal lines. To get started, we're going to do a real quick overview on what the equations of vertical and horizontal lines look like, okay? So this is a nice quick overview. Now we're going to start with um, vertical lines, all right? So vertical lines have the form x equals some constant, okay? So we can say x equals h. So whenever you have x equals to a real number, you can graph it on a coordinate system. So let's say this is our x-axis, that's a y-axis, and we have a specific h value on the x-axis. This vertical line is basically the line with the equation x is equal to h. Okay? So the equation of this line right here is x equals h. And something you want to note about vertical lines is that their slopes are always undefined. Okay? Now, how about horizontal lines? What does the equation of horizontal lines look like? The equation of all horizontal lines can be given by the form y equals some constant k. Okay, so let's say this is our y-axis and our x-axis. To graph a horizontal line with the equation y equals k, we will identify the k value on the y-axis, and then we're going to proceed to draw a horizontal line through that point. Okay, so this line, this horizontal line I just drew, has the equation uh, y equals k. Alright, so just to specify what the slopes are real quick, for vertical lines the slope which is equal to m is undefined. This is because when you have, you're calculating your run, your run is going to be the same, which forces you to divide by zero, and you know when you divide a number other than zero by zero, the result is undefined. In a horizontal line case, the slope uh, m is equal to zero. All right, this is because you have um, a constant run with no rise, so you have zero over um, a numerical value that's non-zero and then you're always going to have zero as your final answer. Now a common mistake students make is they always interchange x and y equations. So what's an easy way to remember which the, car the orientation of the x equals a constant line and y equals a constant line? You can think about the analogy of skiing, okay? When you go to ski and you see a vertical line, what kind of ski slope is that? You can think about a vertical um, ski slope as something that's extreme. Alright? If you're not into extreme sports, you won't want to ski on a vertical line because it's on a vertical uh, slope because it's, it's going to be really dangerous, right? So extreme is vertical. Alright? And then on the other hand, if you go to a ski resort, you wouldn't want to ski on a horizontal flat line because it's boring, okay? And what do you do when you are bored? You yawn, all right? So you have a boring line, which is the Y line, and the extreme line, which is the vertical line, that's X, okay? So don't forget X is vertical line, and then Y is Y line. Now another thing you want to keep in mind is that the equation of the y-axis is actually x equals 0. And the equation of the y-axis is y equals 0. So the equation of lines and the name of the axis are two entirely different things. Alright, don't say because the y-axis is, is oriented vertically, the equation is y equals a constant. That's incorrect. Even though this is the y-axis, the equation is x equals 0. And even though the um, x-axis, a horizontal line, is called the x-axis, the equation is y equals 0. Okay, so x equals 0 for all vertical lines with extreme or undefined slope. And then for the boring flat 0 slope, y equals 0. 
All right, so let's keep that in mind. All right, so the ins instructions for the example that we're going to be doing is to graph the given equations. Okay, so graph the given equations. All right, question one. Let's say we have the line y equals 3. What does the graph look like? So you have y equals 3. Let's label our axis. Um, this is our y axis and this is our x axis. Now, is this going to be a horizontal or a vertical line? So remember, your vertical line is extreme. Okay, so this is the x equals um, h case. And then the horizontal line is a boring line, y equals k. So in this particular example, we're looking at the boring case. It's going to be a horizontal line going through 3. Okay, so we identify 3 on our coordinate system. That's 3 right there. And then let's make our line blue. And then we're going to proceed to draw a horizontal line through um, that point. All right, so this line right here is going to be the line that has the equation uh, y equals uh, 3. Okay, let me color code it real quick. Make it blue. Double sided. All right, so that's the equation of the line that's given above. Let's go ahead and write down what the name of the equation is y equals 3. All right, now let's consider the f another example, question two. What if we have the equation x equals negative two? Let's go ahead and graph this. So we label our coordinate system y and x. Now what kind of line do we have here? We have x equals a number, so remember your orientation when you have x equal to, you're dealing with an extreme slope case, x equals h. And then when you have a horizontal line, that's when you have y equals k. All right, so in this particular example, we have x equals a constant. So we're looking at a vertical line going through uh, the x value negative 2. Okay, so we identify negative 2 on our coordinate system. Let's make this blue. So that's 1, 2. That's uh, negative 2. Now on the x-axis, sorry. So we're looking at the x-axis. So 1, 2. So that's negative 2 on the x-axis. So we're going to proceed to draw a vertical line through um, x equals negative 2. All right, so let's go ahead and draw the line. Let's make it blue. So your line is going to look something like this. OK, so this is the line with equation x equals negative 2. Let's proceed to write down the equation of the line x equals negative 2. So that's basically how you graph um, vertical and horizontal lines. All right, let's consider uh, question number uh, 3 and 4. In these two problems, the task is to write the equation, write the equation of the lines graph below. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. Number three, we have a vertical line with undefined slope going through x equals 4. Okay, so we have a vertical line going through x equals 4, so that tells us what kind of line it is. Think about what the slope of this line is. What kind of slope is this? This has an undefined slope. This is an extreme line. Okay, so the answer to question number three is going to be x equals four. Since this graph always has a constant value of four, regardless of whatever the y value is. Okay, it's always four, 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 four for the x. Now let's take a look at um, number four. What's the equation of that line? Now in this case, we have a horizontal line with zero slope, we can think about this as a boring line since it's horizontal, um, is going through the y-axis and it's constantly attaining a specific y-value, namely 
negative 1. So in this case, the equation of the line is y equals negative 1, since it's of the form y equals k, the general equation for horizontal lines. Okay, so these two examples basically show you how to generate equations of lines given their graphs. So how well did you master the contents of this presentation? To demonstrate mastery, we would like you to try out um, the following problems. Try these. Uh, instructions are the same for the first two, for number one to two. You are to graph the equation of the lines given. So number one, let's say you have the equation y is equal to negative 3. And for number two, let's say you have the equation x is equal to 5. And then for question 3 and 4, uh, the task is to 3 to 4, write the equation, write the equation of the lines graph below. Alright, so for question, so we have this is question number four. I'm in question number three, and this is question four. Alright, so let's take a look at question number three. Let's say we have a line going through a vertical line going through this valley right here and this one we have a horizontal line going through this value right here and those values have the following intercepts let's say this is negative 1 right here and this right here is 1 2 positive 2 all right, so go ahead and pause this video and we'll like you to try out these four problems. When you're done, you click on play in order to see what the answers are. All righty, hopefully you've had a chance to try out these four problems. Let's take a look at question one. We have y equals negative three. That is a boring line y equals 2 is boring. So for that one, we're going to have a horizontal line going through negative 3. So 1, 2, 3, negative 3. Have a horizontal line there. And then for number 2, we have an extreme line x equals 5. So it's going to be a vertical line going through the value x equals 5. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and um, specify the intercepts. This is negative 3 and the equation of this line is y equals negative 3 and the intercept here 1 2 3 4 5 is positive 5 and it has the equation x equals 5 alright so these are the graphs of question number 1 and 2 now let's take a look at um, question number 3 So for question three, we have a vertical line going through negative one. So this is a, think about this as an extreme slope, okay? So what is the equation going to be? Since it's vertical and extreme, it's going to be of the form x equals the constant value that x attains in the entire domain, okay? So that value right there, let me rewrite it, that value is negative one. So it relates to the x-axis. So the answer for uh, number three is x equals negative one. Okay. And then for number four, we have a horizontal line which has a boring slope. Now this is going to be of the form y equals. Y is always constant in this particular case, regardless of what the x value is. Alrighty, so the answer to question 4 is y equals positive 2. 
Okay, so that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of how to graph on vertical and horizontal lines, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. If you have any questions, comments, or requests concerning videos you would like us to make, just post it in the comment section below and we'll be glad to respond. Don't forget to visit our website at mathgotserve.com for other great tools to help you in your study of algebra. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.